Hello everyone, this is TailSway109 and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. In the last video we got some power bombs, only to then lose the power of the entire station. So we had to fight this giant spider known as Yakuza X to get the power back. And well, we got some of it back. But more importantly, we got the space jump boots. And space jump boots are always very important. So is not dying. This is the next place to go, and gosh, it took me forever to find this as a kid. Unfortunately, this isn't the most fun place to go because, well, uh, af well, because of this, and because of this. Yep, we actually are going to get chased by the SAX this time, and we can freeze her momentarily, but probably not going to do us too much good. Oh, yeah, that really didn't do us any good. That hurt a ton. Huh. Well. Gosh, I forgot how hard that part is. Careful not to get stung. It hurts. There we go. Oh boy. All right, there we go. Oh, oh boy. I'm not looking forward to this. No! Gosh darn, I don't remember it being this difficult. Last time I did this, I got through just fine. And I sure didn't miss anything that I usually get. So what am I doing wrong this time? I'm even freezing her. Ow. Alright, go ahead. Oh gosh. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh man. Hurry, 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 oh, oh, okay, okay, hide, 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 Whew, there we go. Well, at least the SAX isn't intelligent enough to try and get past a wall! Or shoot through it. Alright, let's find the way to go. It's over here. Good grief, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna have to play this very carefully. No! Darn it! You didn't even give me a chance! Okay, careful. Alright. I'm starting to wonder if I'm even gonna get through this part. It's the curse of recording again. Yeah, I saw that coming.
I'm never gonna get through this. Just in an attempt to make this a miserable experience of a game. I didn't get hit that one extra time. Now I'm probably gonna die trying to get to a save point again. Just watch, things are gonna go bad again, just because. Uh, probably the hardest part of the game. Just find a place to save first, that's all I want to do right now. Although I probably don't have to go this way just to find it. Oh, You've got to be kidding. Alright. What about anywhere here? Is anywhere here fine? Darn it, this is a long jump. Alright, there. Oh, no, 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 no. I must destroy them all. Ooh, okay. That's something. I'm slowly getting some energy back. But one hit will take away everything I've got. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I happily accept. There we go. Progress. I think everything else will be smooth sailing. <laughs> wait, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't recall anything good coming from that way. Oh. You know, I'm starting to recall nothing about this part. Oh yeah, this is a bad way to go. Oh, well, at least these guys are easy enough to kill. So we go this way. So, simply put. Alright. Okay, come on. Just let me kill you. Cool. Hey, it's boss time again. And this is one is known as Mother Plant X and most unfair way to start a boss fight goes to this. It's an R2 multi-part fight. Before you get to the core, you have to deal with two faces. In the first, there's these plants that constantly shoot these spores. So while you're trying to damage the mother plant, you have to keep destroying these things that are impossible to hit. I like to do the first part with missiles and the second part with the charge shot. So you just gotta keep focusing on the other side and then eventually it gets like this. And then you can either use your missiles or your charge beam while avoiding the plasma shots. And you have to be up here in order to avoid the bullets coming from those other plants. Otherwise you will get thrown in from knockback, obviously. Knockback is the enemy of every 2D game. The true enemy. You just gotta look for where the plasma shots are, and then this part isn't too bad. But getting hit by just one does take away a lot of health. So the second part is a little tedious. There's really not much else to say about this fight. It 
Well, unless you stop paying attention for a fraction of a second and getting hit once just makes the fight that much harder because it's very hard to get back on after. Okay, how much longer? Because this is starting to get kind of boring. There we go. And then, well, you can see where this is going. We're getting another beam upgrade. It's the plasma beam, so don't get hit by it, please. It wouldn't be any fun to get hit by a plasma beam. Especially if it was Metro Prime's plasma beam, because that will. Or Metroid 2's plasma beam, because both of those are absurdly strong. We have the plasma beam at last. Yes! Now our beam is really good. Okay, there. Filled out the map just too. Don't you just love the plasma beam? I mean, do you see how much damage it deals? It's heaven. It is so heavenly. I think it charges up quicker too. Alright, uh, nothing here. So let's just go. Let's get out. I love a charge shot, but still it is a bit obnoxiously loud when you keep it charged the entire time. Uh, let's go this way first. See if we can get an item. Probably not. What was the point of this room? <laughs> Just all time? I have no idea. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking. Alright, we're back. And there's a door we can go in. Ugh, really? I hope everyone is pleased that I had to waste a power bomb. What, what, what this room's a waste too? Oh, no, it's not. This one actually does have something. It's missiles! Cool. We got missiles. Hooray. Now, how about we go and get out of here? I love that idea. So, let me put it to action. Anything to get away from these stupid bugs. Come on. Thank you for finally jumping up. Okay, recharge up. I need the recharge. Cool. There we go. Uh, why not save? It was terror game through all that. Well, after the SAX, things went by pretty quickly. Navigation. What's next? What? You've restored plasma B functionality? Uh, most unexpected. Even so, we continue to avoid the SAX. It too may be stronger. And you still lack a few abilities crucial to survival. Wait. Wait a second. More trouble. Hold on. I've isolated the cause. There's been an explosion in the ARC data room. Samus, go to Sector 5. Is your objective clear? Yes. The damage is staggering. Find out what's causing it. Let me guess. It has to do with Creepy Shadow. Does it? Because we all know anytime a Creepy Shadow appears in a game, it's business. So let's just have ominous music playing as we just run like Sonic. Thank you! That's what I wanted to do! I love doing that right. Getting on an elevator with style. Alright, I'm here. What's n now up? Uh, I can't speak. It's gone and worse. The damage seems to have been caused by a creature kept here by the researchers who named it the Nightmare. Apparently, it was a biomechanical organism designed for military applications. It possesses uncommon power and can manipulate gravity. We must assume that it's become an ex-host. We have no choice. 
You must find it and defeat it. I can't confirm the location. Is your objective clear? Yes. This thing is out of control. Hurry before it destroys the entire station. Alright. I'll just hack everything else with my plasma beam, okay? We, uh, well, it helped me avoid a little damage. That's something. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is definitely a mess. So how about we check up here quickly? Oh, okay. Well, the ice is all gone. And I saw a lot of water. Not a very nice sign. But hey, look! There's something up here and we get out to go in here. Not that there's much purpose. Alright. Oh wow, that guy's still a pain. Alright, so let's drop down and... Oh look! We don't even get a door transition this time. It's just the same room! Anything here? No. Anything here? Yes. And it's water. We all know water's not a good sign. Especially because we don't have the gravity suits yet. Boy, what I would do for a gravity suit right now. If only we could get one. Especially because we need a speed boost to go through that. Uh, well, I guess we are just going to trudge around until we can find a place. Oh, hi. Dry land, yes! It's glorious. <laughs> oh, okay, he was not floating in midair. Uh. That could have made for a nice Spongebob joke. They're floating in midair. How do they do that? Nice little Spongebob. No matter what people think of Spongebob nowadays, can't deny how enjoyable the classic episodes are. Because everyone likes the classic episodes at the very least. Everyone still like what's coming out. Although that Gal Pals episode, um, that was a bit much. <laughs> I, I wasn't quite, quite sure what I was watching. Now, there should be a save room somewhere, right? This is probably the save room. Yes, it is, and... You know what? We still have time. So, let's go ahead. There we go. Alright, so let's go up here. And look! It's, a, it's another boss already. We're going to fight yet another boss. Before we do that, I want this energy tank. Do not go down there. It is a trap. See? Now we have an extra energy tank before fighting the boss, which has been confirmed to be called Nightmare. And I'm pretty sure everyone found this fight to be a nightmare. This is three parts before the X Parasite. The first part moves around a lot, shooting lasers. You have to try and trick it upward so you can shoot its weak spot, which is in an odd spot. The second form begins very early on. Now gravity is altered, so the missiles can't hit it, so you have to use the charge shot. After that, though, then that weak spot area explodes, and now we have to shoot the face with a bunch of missiles with that yucky green face. Just keep shooting until you get hit, basically. Now he's just gonna wander around, and you just have to jump around to avoid him. His movements are partially based on how you move. However, it's a lot of movement. So it's hard to actually get him into a good spot to attack. Um, hello? Okay, there. Glad you finally decided to get active. Alright, let's keep shooting at the face. You know what, this, this fight used to seem really hard as a kid, but 
it's actually not that bad. It's, it's very short. Wow. It's actually a pretty easy boss this far in. The other two bosses were m much tougher. I don't know if I should be shocked by that or not. Well, I know he's shocked. <laughs> he's shocked. But yeah, since I was talking about the gravity suit, you probably figured out what this already was. I mean, he can alter gravity too, so they did hint it out. Alright. Oh, uh, what? Wait, you mean I didn't give myself enough space? Really? They give you just enough space. Um, I'm just going to go up here for the purpose of saving because, well, this video has gone long enough. In the next video, we should go and see what uh, the computer wants from us again. Until then, this has been Tales for 109, and have a nice day.